I'm about to attempt something I think may be impossible. But anyway, here goes. I've got a piece of Amazon packaging paper, which is roughly a square on the bottom. I've got some protective paper and I've got a glass mat underneath. And then this is the tissue paper, the kitchen roll paper that I've been using when I've been doing my eco embossing to make the pages for my signature, for my junk journal. And they're all lovely and stained. Some of them are darker than others. I've got a whole stack. I've separated them so they're all one ply. And I'm going to put one of the darker ones on the bottom and then I'm going to put the lighter ones over some leaves. <laughs> so I've got these leaves and they are tremendously delicate. They've been ironed so I could do the eco embossing. Then they've been left to dry for a few days and then I've waxed them. I've ironed them again between, well it was freezer paper but you could use grease proof paper and with a few beads of soy candle wax that I got for candle making and I've never done. They are very fragile but if I really gently pick one up you can see they're completely flat and they've got a little bit of a sheen. They're a lot more sturdy and flexible than they were before I waxed them. I'm going to take them off again and I'm going to use a brush and my gel matte medium to stick this single sheet of paper to the Amazon packaging paper. I'm now going to really carefully put my leaves on. And I'm hoping as the gel medium dries, it'll dry more clear. And obviously the leaves, you won't be able to see them fantastically well. But I think particularly the dark ones will show up through the paper, through these, uh, actually it's two plies of paper on top. But I couldn't get away with just one because the paper was tearing. This has now got to dry and I don't want it to stick to anything underneath so I'm going to replace the paper that I've had it on with some aluminium foil. I think grease proof paper would also work but I know nothing seems to stick to aluminium foil so I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to leave this to air dry probably for about two hours and then I'm going to put another piece of aluminium foil which I've got ready over the top and then I'm going to put three or four really big heavy books on this overnight and it should dry out. These two envelopes are tea dyed but they're also vintage so they're quite fragile so I'm treating them carefully. There was a tear in this one so I've just covered over that with some masking tape and it's going to get covered by the decoration anyway. I folded the flap inside this one and I've left the flap open on this one and I've also reinforced the fold there on the inside which isn't going to show. I've then got a piece of my eco embossed grungy coffee dyed paper and I want this part of it to show so on the other side on the fold I've also reinforced it. To put everything together I'm just going to slide the flap of the envelope on the right into the one on the left but I want this to be inside 
So I need to put this in first. And the crucial thing is to line up where the fold is and really make sure that that is snug and also that the paper is fairly central. And then to make things easier, I'm just going to glue down along this flap. Make sure everything is straight. And that's the inside of my little envelope booklet cover. The other thing I've done is I've taken my other leaf prints and I've been cutting out the leaves so I've actually got leaf shapes. I've got some quite nice ghostly looking leaves. I've got these and of course I've got my leaves that are drying. I'm going to put those on the front and I might put some of these as well but these are mainly for the inside. I've also found some gel prints that are sort of very autumn coloured and some have actually even got leaf prints on. So I'm going to cut some of the leaves out and then I'm going to do some die cuts on these back backgrounds as well. The whole point in having plenty of leaves is that you can choose, not that you need to put them all on. <laughs> so I've still got a pile here which I'm going to save and I've got quite a full arrangement of these leaves but I wanted the impression of you know what it's like to walk through leaves in autumn. I'm saving these for the end and I'm going to fill in little gaps and add those as decoration. These are the little die cuts that I've done from my gel prints. So yeah, gluing down those little things is quite a challenge and I'm not convinced that everything is not going to sort of lift up and peel off. So I'm just going to give it all a coat, a very thin coat of clear gesso. The leaves that I did yesterday are now dry. They're still slightly pliable so I'm going to now cut them out rather than wait till everything gets too brittle. I know this is probably sacrilege after I've done all this work, but I don't like this one. It doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to take my scissors to it and I'm actually going to cut out a leaf shape like these. I've got several problems now. One is that I can't overlap these things because they will need concrete to glue them down. And I thought I'll go for a falling leaf a sort of cascade of leaves across the cover and I've come up with that arrangement so far but it looks very plain behind so I'm going to create a background with some stencils and possibly some gold embossing. happy with that it almost looks like a little scene doesn't it <laughs> with the with the branches and then the leaves and you can see some background as well be sure to cover it up now Instead of using the pad, I used the pen and that works much better to make the leaves at the bottom. Finishing touches to this epic project. I've got some of my hand dyed paper, which I dyed with Rabinia leaves in the summer, although a Rabinia is evergreen, so you could do it any time. And my whole sheet folded in half fit inside my secret journaling space. And all I have to do now 
is add my sentiment. I've taken today's prompt very literally and I've used two vintage envelopes which I've tea dyed which were my mum's originally so they're probably 30 years old and I've used real leaves from my garden. I did spend quite a bit of time on this project and I really enjoyed it and I did different bits on different days. Once I got the idea in my mind I didn't want to do anything else. 